Hello, and welcome back to my channel. Thank you for tuning back, and please share, comment, and give me a thumbs up. In this video, this DIY, this is what we're going to be making, uh, easy sunburst mirror. Very easy. I know you can do it. And here's the list of the supplies. You can screenshot this, pause it, write it down, however you wish. Uh, majority of my things came from Dollar Tree. The only thing that did not come from Dollar Tree was the Rust-Oleum spray paint and the picture hanger. Now on the mirror on the back, I drew lines just to make sure I had all my dowels spaced equally apart. I did my best, but it didn't come out as perfect as I wanted. It doesn't need to be perfect. Here you see me gluing all of them down. It took about two packs or a pack and a half. At first I did them all at the same length sticking out. But you'll see afterwards I went back and put in some shorter ones. Now as I was hot gluing them down I noticed that the Dollar Tree mirror did not hold up too well. I think it was a combination of the heat and me pressing it down but the mirror did break. And what I ended up doing is um, gluing an extra mirror on top of it which I removed from a frame just like this one and I just glued the new mirror on top of it. This is the picture right before I spray paint it. I took it outside on my front porch, put down newspaper, and I did a spray paint. And of course I covered the mirror, even though I would be um, covering up with another mirror. And this is one of my favorite colors, types of spray paint by Rust-Oleum. They have a gold as well. And here's why I spray paint it. I do want to let you know that make sure that you don't have anything else to do after you're you know, spray painting. And make sure it's totally dry. This is the backing that I cut to cover up all of the dowels in the back. It turns out that I needed to, after I glued the picture hanger down, I realized that there was some of the styrofoam, the foam board, that was going to be sticking out and be seen. So I went back and drew like a quarter of an inch all the way around. And you'll see that coming up and I cut off the edges, a quarter inch of the edges, so nothing would be shown from behind. Now when I glued this down, I used hot glue and my fix-all, and I glued it to the back. And here it is it's all done but like I say you can see the glass the uh, mirror that was broken so I took another mirror out of another round frame and added it to on top of that mirror I glued it down with the fix-all glue and I let that set up for about 30 minutes before hanging it up now you can do different things, you can add more dowels, but this is what I ended up with. Now here's a little bonus. This is from the Dollar Tree. It's just a white ceramic soap dispenser. I, you'll see exactly what I did, the bling wrap. Also came from Dollar Tree. And of course, there's my Rust-Oleum. This is the same one, but it's in gold metallic. I taped down my design, it's just simple stripes, then I took it outside and spray painted it with the metallic bright gold. And 
this is where you know I tried to carefully remove the tape but I did scratch off some of it I just ended up covering it up also with bling wrap the part that I scratched off but if you didn't wish to cover that up with the bling wrap you can easily spray some of the paint into a cup and use a little paint brush to paint over what got scratched off and also you can put a clear coat on that to keep it from coming off yeah see that spot I scratched it some type of way but if you use clear coat that shouldn't happen and just carefully remove your tape my bling wrap is going to be on top of the white just basically measure and put your bling wrap on and the width of my bling wrap was almost the same exact width of the the circumference around this dispenser I think I just had to cut off maybe one or two strips of the bling wrap once I got to the end so you can see where some of my edges aren't so perfect that was covered up with bling wrap right here I am cutting off two and this is what I'm going to be using in my bathroom so I just have some collections there that I put bling wrap on and it's going to match the candles that I put bling wrap on as well in the next short clip you'll see the candles that I put um, glitter contact paper on and bling wrap from Dollar Tree and those are Dollar Tree candles I want to thank you for stopping in and watching this video please subscribe ask any questions give me a thumbs up and share this video I would like to grow my subscribers base list thank you have a great one